brioche on the bun, double double with the sauce, with the fries. Oh, don't take my top off. Sorry about that. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So last week I was in Arizona and I was just trying all the restaurants that we didn't have in Michigan. <clears throat> so while I was there, I had to try In-N-Out. You see so much hype about In-N-Out on the internet, so I just had to try it, right? You have to. I thought this was gonna be all hype. As Soon as you taste it, it's like, oh wow, this is what heaven on earth tastes like. Like who is back there making these burgers? Jesus himself? Okay, that's a little bit of an over-exaggeration, but <laughs> it was better than your average fast food. McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King. So it's about 1.30. About lunchtime, and I was like, Wow, you know what the perfect lunch will be right now? In and out, but we're in stupid Michigan. <laughs> Michigan. So I said, Today I'm gonna try to recreate In and Out at home. We got a number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we about to get down. Get down. Ten kills on the board right now. Just First thing we're gonna make is the sauce. So on the website that I was on, what's in this sauce is mayo, relish, ketchup, and vinegar. That's what the website said is in the sauce, but I'm not putting vinegar in it because I don't like vinegar. I don't know the exact ratios of this, but we're just gonna do it. Mayo. That was probably way too much. Ketchup and relish. All right, all right. Hopefully this tastes good because I haven't ate all day and I'm pretty hungry. Stir this around. This, you know what this looks like right now? When you used to take the rest of your school lunch and just mix it all together? It's starting to look like the sauce from in and out Quick taste test. Has fire. Has fire! I'm not gonna lie. That tastes like in and out sauce. The sauce from in and out It probably would taste more like it if I added vinegar, but no. It kind of tastes like in and out sauce. It kind of tastes like Big Mac sauce. This is literally delicious though. Okay, now, one of the most important things is our hamburger bun. You may think we're going cheap here and using these, the dollar hamburger bun. No, not at all. We got brioche buns, brioche. Oh my God, you got money. He nasty, but he got money though. We had to get fancy, so we had to get brioche bun. You see, it's four buns in here. This was $100 for the pack. My friend just gone down. I revived him, now we're heading south back. Okay, next, onions. What you wanna do, grab an entire stick of butter. Okay, don't grab an entire stick. This is already unhealthy. Do not use an entire stick of butter. Use about half a tablespoon of butter. About that much, more or less, I don't care. And put that into your pan. While that melts, you can cut up your onion. I already cut up mine. It's not perfect, but I don't care. And I didn't use the whole onion, cause it's just me. Onion, here. And now we're just gonna let those brown until they're brown. I don't know. So I'll be back when those are done. He says, hey, broski, you got some heels in the shield pot? I While those onions are cooking, as we know, In-N-Out has crinkle cut fries. Now, if you thought I was gonna cut up fries, you are highly mistaken. We got bag fries. These are just going right in the air fryer. If I could cook everything in the air fryer, I would. Okay, onions are done. Kinda burnt, but brown. Take the onions out the pan. Grab your brioche bun with the remaining butter in your pan. Put the brioche in the pan face down so they can get toasted. Don't let them burn. The main part of everything is our hamburger. I went to the store and got 7327 ground beef. When you're making in and out or any type of fast food recreation hamburger, you do not want lean meat. Because if you don't know, fat is flavor. Since we're making a double-double, you wanna form these into two ounce patties and smash them down while they're cooking. I don't have a scale to measure out two ounces. So we're gonna make them small and just flatten them out. This might be more than two ounces, but I don't know. Now, when you're about to make smash burger, you want your pan ripping hot like this. You see the smoke coming off of it? That's when you know you're good. Now, I don't have a big spatula, like flat, to smash the burgers with. I'm gonna show you a little trick that I found out. Grab a small saucer thingy like this. Put your patty down, grab a plate, and just flatten it out. Put your weight on it and just literally flatten it out. So you take the plate off, it will look like that. Now, we're not going for presentation here, we're going for flavor. Salt and pepper. This is a two-hand pepper shaker, so I can't show you guys. I'm gonna flip this and hope I didn't burn it. Perfect. Okay, we make one more of those, and then it's time for the presentation. We need cheese. Craft singles, baby. And put the top over the pan to melt the cheese. Bottom bun 
It's not burnt, it's just brown. Iceberg lettuce. To be honest, just put a handful. Burger patty number one. Onions. Yeah, good old caramelized onions. Yes, I'm yes, I'm using my hand. Don't worry about it. We're gonna we gonna put some of that sauce with that yeah. That good old sauce. Burger patty number two, because this is a double double. Now, grab your top bun. You can never have too much sauce. Okay, final presentation. Mm hmm Oh yeah. I know y'all like that. Brioche on the bun. Double double with the sauce. With the fries. Oh, don't take my top off. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay, my apologies. This angle sucks, but just look at that. Like, even if that's not in and out, this looks amazing. You get what I'm saying? Okay, first, fry review. Now, these are just frozen fries. We know this. Nothing special. But I feel like frozen fries are never a disappointment. Like, they might be frozen fries, but they still good, you know? And they only took 15 minutes to make in the air fryer. So, quick taste test on the burger. That is amazing. Oh my God. It's so good. I put so much sauce on there, which is perfect. Like the sauce is so good. It's delicious. Like, just look at that. That is delicious. But if you enjoyed this video, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I post videos three times a week. In the comment section down below, give me your favorite in and out order. What's your go-to? Or if you don't like in and out give me your favorite fast food restaurant and your order from there. And yeah, thanks for watching.